Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today I'll be showing off a device that a lot of people have been waiting for since the release of the Wi-Fi 7 access points. If you have any all-in-one sensors and have deployed Wi-Fi 7 APs in your home or business, you're probably wondering how do I link these devices as the Wi-Fi 7 APs don't support Bluetooth. Well, the solution is Superlink. Superlink is Ubiquiti's proprietary IoT technology, which could work in your home, commercial or industrial environments. It gives us ultra low latency, great battery life, and gives us multi-kilometer range. Superlink also supports the existing Bluetooth sensors. With Superlink, we could have up to 96 Superlink clients with a range of two kilometers. Now let's take a closer look at the Superlink itself. And this is our Superlink. As you can see, it is a very small device. I would say around the size of a pack of cards. On the top, we have our antenna, which is a dual antenna for our Superlink, as well as our Bluetooth. On the bottom of the device, we have two different power options. We could either do it with P PoE in or we could use USB-C and that ethernet port is a 10 by 100 megabits per second. On the back we have these slots and that's for our mounting. The mount that I'll be using is this DIN rail and I'm just going to be setting it up in this office on this wall. I do have existing sensors already in my deployment that I was using a U6 Enterprise for but now we're going to take that out. My whole house will be Wi-Fi 7 and we'll use the Superlink to connect those together and I'll show you how we do that. This supports up to 96 Superlink sensors and up to seven of the Bluetooth sensors. Now you may be wondering what are the Superlink sensors and let's quickly take a look at that. I'm very excited for it. You'd see on the screen the new Superlink sensors. We have the glass break, the siren, the fob, the environment, which will do leak, temp and humidity. We have a relay. We also have the entry, the alarm hub. We have the Superlink gateway, the air quality, the motion, and the alarm control. I am very excited to get my hands on these and to test them out and put them in for clients. The next thing I need to do is put the Superlink on my wall, get it plugged into the network, and then get it adopted within Protect and bring my sensors in. So let's get started. Superlink is very easy to install. All we do is put two holes in our walls, put the anchor in, and then grab our mounting bracket or our DIN rail, and then we need to screw it in. After that, all we need to do is grab the Superlink and then slide it on and then plug the Ethernet cable in and it's ready to be adopted. We're now in the Unify Protect application and a new device has been detected as we can see in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click add. That is our UP Superlink. You can see three of my sensors that are offline because I don't have any access point that has Bluetooth in it. But once the Superlink is adopted, it should grab and those sensors should come back up online. Now with the Superlink adopted into the Protect application, we could see all of my sensors came back online and that was automatic. I didn't need to do any factory resetting. The Superlink itself doesn't have that much configuration. We click on it, we could see the status connection model, device, MAC address, IP, and we could see the uptime. If we click on the settings wheel, we could give it a new name and we could turn that LED on or off locate, restart, or we could remove. Now, if you haven't seen the sensor manager, this is it. So we could see my front door, my UP sense, and then we could see my office sensor. This UP sense is just in my living room. But if we click on all three, you could tell on the right hand side, a graph is starting to appear. These haven't really been on this long, but we could see our temperature, our humidity, and then our light. We also have our sensor settings. With the sensor settings, we could see all the sensors that we want to change, and then we could select what we want them to do. So temperature, humidity, light, motion, open, close, we have our audio alarm, and then we have our water leak. A couple questions that might come up is how many super links can I have per console and the number is unlimited. So if you go over those 96 super link sensors and the seven Bluetooth, you could just add another super link and then you'll get double the capacity. You'd also use your super link with your U6 access points that support Bluetooth. Whatever the sensor sees as the best connection, it will connect to that. And that's going to be my initial video on the Superlink, and I'm very excited for the future. Those new Superlink sensors look great, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.